Hello friends, May Flom here for Dress It Up Buttons. Making a painted wooden sign. For this project, you will want a wooden base. It could be anything. I picked this one up at my local craft store. Some paint brushes or foam brushes, some acrylic paint in various colors, and of course, some of the Dress It Up heart buttons. These are new and they come in the packaging like I just showed. What you see over there where they're stored in the little plastic container, that is just my personal storage for them here at home to keep them organized and accessible. Our first step is going to be to decide what colors we want on what letters and then get a base coat of acrylic paint on this project. Now, just a note that you'll probably want to do two, even three coats, depending on the paint and depending on the way that the wood absorbs the paint. Now, you might notice I, these are brand new paints, so when I open them, I never like to waste. So I try to get as much paint off of the lid when I open it as possible and start there. And I'm going to be working with both foam paintbrushes and regular paintbrushes as well. And we're not worrying about if it's sloppy at the bottom and you will see why as we keep going. And really it's because it's all going to get covered up. Having some kind of an end game, having some kind of a plan and knowing where you are headed can be very helpful in these early stages. Once the paint is completely dry, you're going to go ahead and get out some white acrylic paint. And I'm just painting along the base, all around the base here. And as you can see, it's going to quickly cover up all of the colorful splotches here from my letters from the love and once that is done i will let it dry and do another coat or two depending on how it's covering as i mentioned before and then as you can see here i'm going to flick upwards from the base with a very almost no paint on there to get a little bit of that white carrying up my letters. Now it is button time and we're gonna pull out our buttons. We have Sherbet, we have Stiletto, we have Lily and we have Lavender. As you can see, there's all the new colors there and this is how they come in their little packages. I would love to know how you store your buttons. So if you have ideas or how do you store your buttons, do share. I use bead containers quite often for special little buttons like these. Now I am running a line of liquid adhesive. This could be absolutely any liquid adhesive all the way down the front of the base. And then I'm going to be taking my buttons and individually placing them here one at a time. Now, you can have them all lined up. You can measure, you can get it very precise. You could also make it go all over the place. Essentially what I am going to do is line up the color of button with the color of letter. And that's a big part of why I picked these particular paint colors was to go with the buttons. So we can go and we can add as many of these buttons or as few as we would like. I'm using a liquid adhesive that has a fairly long dry time. So it's okay if I go and find different things or if I go and find some of my craft tweezers, if I wanna use tweezers. Uh, if you want to use like a pick or tweezers or something to either place the buttons or move them around in the glue once they're down, that can be a really great option to help you get things looking just so. As you can see, I'm just kind of spreading the glue all around my buttons and also adding a little more if needed. We want to be very generous here. This particular adhesive is one that will dry clear and matte finish, so I don't have to worry about it showing up afterwards. And as a decor piece, I don't need to be too worried, but I do like my decor pieces, especially something like this that will come out for January, February, and then get put away although it could be year round, I do want to make sure that they are the pieces are secure so that the pieces will last. I like to have my decor pieces last at least a couple of years. Now I am putting just a couple of dots on the letters themselves and adding buttons in in the colors that I used there on the base. This is gonna tie some things together. And I really, this is just so much fun. I love this project because we're getting to feature a bunch of different dress it up buttons and they're really taking over the star of the show. But at the same time, this is a very simple project. We don't have to 
do a ton of techniques or a ton of time consuming things or expensive things to make really cool decor to display in our homes or to gift to friends or whatever else we might like to do with it. And as you can see, I'm just adding dots of adhesive and then putting my buttons on down. These are such fun colors, all 12 different colors. I can't pick a favorite because I gotta tell you, I love them all. They are just all so pretty. Now I'm going to run some more adhesive along the base. You can see I've got adhesive there on my brush and I'm just running it along the base. We don't need a ton, we just need a nice coating. I would think like, I would say maybe like you were buttering some bread versus say adding peanut butter or something you would add a much thicker layer. And then I'm taking some white iridescent glitter and just shaking it. So this is going to stick wherever there is adhesive. So I have a little bit at the very bottom of our letters kind of to mimic the white that's kind of brushed up the bottom of the letters. And you might notice I'm just putting an absolute ton. Yes, we're gonna just put a ton of glitter so that it catches wherever it's going to catch. And then let this dry, shake it off. And I'm working on a paper towel so that I can catch all that glitter, put it back in the container and use it again the next time. And this particular glitter is very iridescent and kind of a mix of chunky and small, but isn't that lovely? And you could do this in any color for any theme as well. I mean, these buttons were just too perfect to pass up when I saw this sign. I knew I had to do this. If you would like to find these buttons for purchase, Go ahead on over to the Dress It Up website. You will find links in the video descriptions. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any future tutorials. We'll see you next time.